Hello, I'm David Lawson, grassland agronomist from SRUC. I'm here today to talk to you a bit about some of the work we're doing on Lewis with regard to grassland establishments. One of the problems many farmers and crofters have on Lewis and many of the other islands of the west coast of Scotland is establishing and keeping grass in the conditions prevalent there. Wet, peaty soils which hold a lot of water, windy conditions, wet weather, cold weather and where some of the perennial ryegrasses which are conventionally grown for foraging, uh, for pasture, can be, it can be difficult to keep them established. The, at this site in Midborv, uh, on the west coast of Lewis, we have a soil which is peat dominated and we're establishing clovers and bird's foot trefoil on the site in order to increase the fertility of the soil using these species by fixing nitrogen into the soil. One of the first things we have to do is to check the soil itself with regard to the organic matter content and its texture. And we do this by taking a, a good sample of soil to a good rooting depth. We can visually check the nature of the soil. You can see in this case it's a very organic material and the soil is in fact dominated by the organic content as you'd expect on a peat soil. But we can check the texture of the material itself using a soil textural diagram uh, just to see how much mineral matter is present. The other aspect which is very important for establishing clovers as well as grass is the, the pH. For a mineral soil we want to make sure the pH is at least 5.8. For peat soil we can actually tolerate lower pHs uh, but as long as it's above pH 5.1. We have tried. We, have, we are trialling out a number of uh, species of bird's foot trefoil and white clover. What is important is that in these soils, especially these peat soils, that we put a rhizobium inoculant in with uh, the seeds, as it, these rhizobium that actually do the nitrogen fixing within the clover itself. We have already trialled out some of the, these uh, species at the SRUC's Hill Mountain Research at near Crean Larrach where we have very high rainfall situations and we, we did get successful establishment. As you can see the bird's foot trefoil uh, was comparable in density to the outside clover. Another important aspect of establishing white clover, bird's foot trefoil and other clovers is that the, the, the flowers from these species uh, attract bees and provide pollen and nectar for them. On the, the site at Midborv, the, the, the establishment has been slow due to the extremely wet conditions, but, uh, but once they are established, the, the, the clovers will, through fixing nitrogen, help the grass growth uh, by increasing the fertility of the soil. For more information on this, please visit the FAS website.